Socially Summer Video Series. This is episode one. My name is Lou. My name is Tom Barry. And we're going to start with the top five social media stories of last week, May 30th to June 3rd. Number five, uh, Groupon went public, the Daily Deals uh, coupon social media site um, was valued at a ridiculous amount of money, millions and millions of dollars with the potential to be billions. Um, Tom, I think this brings a lot of legitimacy to the Daily Deals uh, industry, and I know there's already competitors, Google's already launched something, so I think this says a lot for, for that industry. Group, Groupon is really uh, blazing a trail. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the fact that Groupon does such a good job with helping other businesses share each other and helping each other out, just the fact that you can now go and get discounts and deals almost anywhere online and uh, bringing those to the places you're going, businesses and things like that, it's, it's helping the social market and especially the mobile market grow. Absolutely, there's already talks of a partnership with Foursquare as well, mm -hmm. which I think makes a lot of sense, uh, the daily deals as well as the location-based services. Um, that seems like a match made in heaven for those two. Uh, number four? Number four, we know we saw a CNN report, uh, cancer scare for cell phones, and with that growth in the mobile market and the, all the iPhones and smartphones growing faster and faster, you can understand why people might be a little nervous by that, but from my perspective, I'm, I'd like to say a few things, just fun facts that Go for people like to uh, kind of worry about. The, Go tell. the closer you hold that, that phone to your head, the more radiation it's going to be pumping out. And, the fact that sometimes when you're going into a place where you have less cell service, it's going to be stronger. So I don't. I honestly, I don't think that at this point regulations are getting stronger, and people start to realize that um, cell phone use is is important. And now that social networks are all over that, what do you think about the fact that this might be a problem? I don't think we're going to see any changes anytime soon. Um, because first of all, it, it relates directly to actually having it up to your head. Yeah. Um, if you read the manuals too, which is something that we saw in the report, um, you're supposed to hold it like half an inch away from your head. It's actually been regulated by the manufacturers for a while. You do that. No one does that, but um, it looks like they've been trying to cover their tracks for a while. Um, I guess, or my guess is, we're not going to see any real long-term um, hard numbers for 10, 10 20 years. Um, but I don't see any real change in the cell phone industry. Um, it's just going to become more and more popular. People are going to use them more and more. And honestly, I think laptops could be phased out. You'll see more just smartphones and things like that. So um, I, I don't think the industry is going to suffer too much. And we'll see the health effects down the road. Absolutely. Uh, number three, Facebook uh, revamped their messages. Um, so Tom, I know we did a little research on really that. Cool. Yeah, they, really cool. Yeah, they they kind of compiled all the things that you would use. Um, you can use it as an email. Everyone has an app, Facebook email account now. Um, it compiles all of your chat history and archives, all that in one place. Um, your inboxes, you can also do text messages from that as well. Can I you know, really? Yeah, you can. Oh. Yeah, you can do your homework. Um, yeah, so I know you're a big fan of that. What do you think about that? I think it's really, I think it's awesome because I'm on Facebook all the time, and I think that's one of the big things that people are phasing into that. And if they can put everything in one place, it makes things so much more organized. and so much more efficient so that down the road you're not going to have to need a different account for every single thing you do when everything's in one place. Absolutely. It's awesome. Is that that much more of a reason to stay on Facebook longer yeah. as if we're already not on there long enough? <laughs> um, but yeah, that one it seems to be seems to be uh, integrating pretty well. Normally people have a lot of kickback when Facebook changes things around, but Absolutely. this one seems to streamline pretty well. Uh, number two. Number two, Twitter adding uh, the photo and video sharing. I think that's a really cool feature that they've incorporated, and we saw a lot of that recently with uh, the, the tornadoes in Joplin and, and Western Mass. Is social media itself affects natural disasters big time, but now Twitter is just growing so quickly where they don't need to use the outside sources like TwitPics and Twit Videos, where those applications are no longer needed because Twitter's now created their own. Uh, way of uploading videos and, and picture to Twitter. So live streaming, you can get a, if you're at an event, you can upload a picture right there and uh, it goes right to Twitter and you send it out to all your followers and it'll come up in relevant searches. So if you're looking for something in, in particular, 
if you want to get a visual, it's, it's now right on Twitter. So yeah, it's pretty cool. You can use like hashtags the way you would with any regular tweet, but you can do that with pictures now, which is it's pretty cool that you can use it that way. Um, partnered with Photo Bucket, so they're mm. they're cruising right along. They're doing pretty well. And finally, number one, um, just from all of us that grow socially, I think we'd like to say that uh, social media on Memorial Day. Um, you know, we'd like to thank all the veterans and everything they do so we can have great jobs like this and we can cruise the internet and you know, find cool things on Facebook and Twitter to talk about. So we thank you and we salute you guys. And we'd like to thank you for watching the first episode of our summer video series. So check in uh, at the end of this week. We're going to try and do one of these every week. So thank you for stopping by.